Good morning, everybody. It's Proctor here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to decarbonize and decarbonize your engine using just a water bottle with water and just pure water. And the trick here is do not put too much in your engine, or you're going to put an engine in your car. So start your car. Make sure it's warm, right? And you're going to have to take the air air intake assembly off, the air filter stuff, the tubes. You're going to let your car run. You're going to do your squirt bottle. Just set it on mist and just, you're gonna have to move it over. And you're gonna simply, just simply spray a couple drops in. Not too much. Not too much. Spray this in very slowly. If it starts to sound like it's running really shitty, just stop for a second and then continue. Slow. And this goes right directly into the throttle body here. Probably gonna see a little bit of smoke come out of the back of the car, that's normal. And it's normal for the car to buck and head state for a second too. And you'll feel it bucking a little bit. Let it sit for a second and just start hesitating. You'll hear it suck it in. It wouldn't hurt to rev it up a little bit. But I wouldn't recommend doing it right at this point. Just let it do its thing. I'm gonna let it run for a second. See, you can see all the carbon and shit coming out of the tailpipe here. Now I'm gonna give her a little bit of gas just to get it through. And this is actually cleaning out the exhaust on your car. Like, I'll look in the mirror here. And it's cleaning out all that carbon back there. Still, it actually has a bad lifter, so I'm just trying to clean out the engine before I do the head and all that. Yeah, look at all that smoke and shit that just came out. We're clearing out all the deposits. And it will, yeah, you can see the water, it's going right through the tailpipe. Now we're gonna do this a tiny bit more. I like to get about a quarter of the squirt bottle in the engine. So that's how I like to do it. All right, but don't go too hard on her. You know? I'm gonna put a little bit more in, but not too much. I don't wanna stress the car out too much. Again, I'm gonna let her sit for a second, just let her do her thing. And you can see all the carbon and crap coming out of the exhaust. 
and you will see like little droplets coming through the exhaust and that's all your carbon getting out of the exhaust. And I always do this right before I change the oil on my car just so it gets all the crud and crap out of the engine because the top of the engine on this car is pretty dirty, I'm not gonna lie. But you can hear that idle, it's already smoothing out. I'm gonna give her a little bit of gas. Just a little bit. Maybe a tiny bit. Now my car sounds like it's misfiring a little bit because it is. Look at all that smoke coming out. That's all your carbon deposits. And I actually had an issue with high oil pressure and it's actually bringing it down a little bit too. Bring it back down to normal. So we're getting all that carbon out of there. And I'm gonna give it, I haven't gotten very much in, but at the same time, I really don't want to put too much in my now. Just enough to make me feel satisfied. Too much. See how she stirred a buck in there for a second? Now let her sit. Just let her sit. Just take her easy. You don't want to seize your engine, right? If you put too much, you'll hydrolock it. Now, if you look at the smoke now, look at that now. Now, look at the smoke coming out of this thing. It's getting all the carbon and crap out of your engine. Now, I'm going to give her a little bit of gas. Not very much, as I said. Look at that smoke. Look at all that carbon. Now it is going to sound like it's misfiring a little bit because you don't have the air filter on the throttle body, right? So that is why that will be like that. Look at all the crap we're getting out of this car. This is all carbon deposits. Thing. This is better than sea foam, honestly. Now, I'm gonna say that's enough for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the intake back on and I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit, let the stuff get through. I only put in about that much for now. So I'm gonna put the air intake back on. I'm gonna tighten it up and we're gonna give her a little drive just so smoothens it out.
And guys, my phone's running in memory, and that is basically how you decarbonize your engine. Do this about two more times, take it for a drive for 10 minutes. Do not shut off your car. I don't recommend doing that because it could stop the engine. Um, you just gotta let it run through the system, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it worked for you, like and subscribe. I love the subscribers. Thank you guys.